Hey, I'm Tammy and today I'm going to show you how to make this super easy crop top. So this top is actually made out of three different rectangles and the first we're going to look at is this back piece. What you're going to need is a rectangle that is 8.5 inches high and then you're going to need to measure across your back like so and then this will give us the width measurement minus 0.5 inches. So my back piece will measure 8.5 inches by 13.5 inches and that's because my across back is 14 inches minus 0.5 inches equals 13.5. You just need one of these pieces. I've got a nice stretchy fabric as this needs to stretch over your head. So make sure you are using a stretch fabric and not a woven one. For the front piece, you're going to need another rectangle, but it's going to be shorter at the hem. It's going to measure 8.5 inches high. And then we're gonna calculate this length by measuring our full bust, dividing that number by two and plusing 0.5 inches. We're going to want to minus one inch from each side at the bottom hem here and that's because that's going to give us a bit more of a fitted waist so the rectangle will be smaller at the bottom. So for my front piece that will be 8.5 inches by 17 inches and that's because my full bust is 33 inches so 33 inches divided by 2 plus 0.5 equals 17. And then because the hem is going to be smaller, that will be 15 inches because we're going to minus one inch from each side. For the straps, we're going to want to cut out four rectangles that are four inches high and then 18 inches wide. We want four straps because we are going to tie them together to create the nice tie detail that we're looking for. And once you have all those pieces, we're going to start sewing the top. I wanted to make this top really easy to sew, so it's actually going to be unlined. But what we're going to do is take the front bodice and the back bodice, and we're going to pin them both at the side seams. So let me just show you. We're going to pin here, making sure not to stretch the fabric and aligning both the side seams neatly. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. And now what we're going to do is take this to the sewing machine and sew both of these side seams with a half an inch seam allowance. You're going to want to use a stretch stitch, like a zigzag stitch when sewing this top, or even use an overlocker. I do sometimes like to use a standard stitch and sew over it twice. You just need to make sure whatever stitch you choose, it allows the fabric to stretch um, without any seams popping open. So now we have the front and the back bodice sewn. I've left the seams unfinished as knit fabric doesn't actually fray. You can trim this or use an overlocker to create a neat finish. Now what we're going to do is find the widest hem of the top and then with the wrong sides facing out, we're actually going to want to fold the fabric inwards half an inch, pin it in place across the whole top and the bottom hem. on the top and the bottom and we're going to want to take this to the sewing machine and sew right against the edge. 
Again, we're not doing a double folded hem because the fabric won't actually fray. So this is the top from the right side. You can see there's a really nice clean finish. When you look at the top, you'll be able to see one hem is wider than the other. Now we're going to want to make the straps. So we have all four strap pieces. We're going to want to fold the strap in half all the way down and pin along the edge. going to want to sew this with a half an inch seam allowance and I'm going to leave both edges open because one end we're going to add to the top and the other we will finish in a moment. So let's pin all four straps. Now we've got all four straps sewn, we're going to use a safety pin and just push it through one end and use it to turn the straps right side out. This can be a little tricky, you can use a loop turner but a safety pin honestly works just as fine. I'm going to do this for all of the other straps. Now you will have all four straps turned right side out and I'm actually going to press this for a knee to finish but before I do that I'm just going to finish one end of the straps by folding the edge inwards all around and just stitching along this bit. We're only going to do this for one end of the strap and leave the other free but we need to do this for all four straps. As you can probably tell, I've just ironed them and they're looking really nice and sleek. And now that's the straps complete. You can see one end is finished and the other end is open and left raw. Now what we're going to want to do is take the top of the wrong side facing out and place the widest part of the top in front of us. You want to try the top on and I've actually decided I want the straps to start three inches inwards. We're going to take the, not the finished side, but the raw edge and place this right where the three inches end and pin this in place. So let me just double check three inches in and then on the other side, do the exact same thing and place the strap three inches inwards. We're going to want to do this for the back as well. You can place these wherever you like. I'm just putting them here because I like the shape of how it looks on. Now we're just going to sew these down at the sewing machine.
And now you can see the finished top complete. You can use the straps to tie a little bow at the top. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let's try and see it on.